in our modern connected world, people don't really think very much about where the computers are that they are using. And that really is possible because of research that's occurred in distributed computing over the past nearly 50 years. When a user uses our search engine, it's actually use our distributed computing platform and resource. But when a user use our hotmail, it's actually use our distributed system about email. Traditionally, computer hardware has evolved by individual processors getting faster and faster and faster. And that, that stopped several years ago. And instead, hardware now evolves by having more and more processor cores all integrated on the same chip. So the challenge that we're focusing a lot of our work on is how to develop software so that it can benefit from those cores. Because so many of Microsoft's customers will experience computing through cloud computing, as we deliver more and more services to them, the technologies that underlie cloud computing are an important focus for our research. Our research focuses not just on the functionality of cloud computing, but the security that has to be integrated throughout the applications and services that run there. And no matter how fast or cheap computer processing power becomes, there's always a challenge of how to write computer software. And so being able to support uh, abstractions for parallel programming, making it easy for people to write parallel programs is very important. We've moved from a world in which computing was very evident to people and they had to deal with it in a very direct way to a world in which computing is all around us in a ubiquitous and often almost invisible way. So the dream is to make computing invisible to its consumer, to focus on the what rather than the how. And for that reason, we need to continue to invest in research that can deliver on that dream in the years to come.